president. He might be long out of office, but Tony Abbott is being treated like a visiting statesman in Taipei. He's made history, meeting Taiwan's president Tsai Ing-wen, a woman Australian politicians carefully avoid for fear of offending China. And he was no fan of Taiwan's mask-wearing culture. Please God, we won't be required to wear these wretched masks anymore. <laughs> Mr Abbott's main message was that Australia and other members of a regional trade pact should invite Taiwan despite China's objections, noting the island democracy is under huge pressure from Beijing. It's more important than ever under such circumstances that uh, your fellow democracies stand shoulder to shoulder with you. Despite the formal meetings, the Prime Minister says Tony Abbott's not there as an unofficial envoy. Tony's in Taiwan as a private citizen and I had, didn't have any conversation with him before that. So what he has said and, and what messages he's passed on, he's passed on in that capacity. But there are more pressing concerns for the Taiwanese. China has flown more fighter jets and bombers near Taiwan in the past week than in any other month. China's sabre-rattling has rattled Washington, which has never made it clear whether it will intervene if Beijing orders a military invasion of Taiwan. We are very concerned uh, by the uh, PRC's provocative military uh, activity near Taiwan. But some experts think Taiwan might not be the target of China's recent drills. China feels necessary to react to the uh, United States and ally forces when they uh, conduct exercises in the area that China consider their spheres of influence. There are signs, though, that the world's two major powers are looking to prevent things from getting out of hand. Top officials meeting in Switzerland agreed to a virtual summit between President Joe Biden and China's leader Xi Jinping before the year is out, their first one-on-one -on -one meeting a summit at the highest possible level to manage tensions that everyone is now getting involved in. Bill Bertels, ABC News.